Now let us find the derivative of sin x using first principle. We need to show that the derivative of sin x is cosin x. When we say using first principle, it means that derivative of the function is equals to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? So that is the basic definition of a derivative, a rate of change, correct? Using this, we can write derivative means d dx of sin x is equal to limit h approaches 0 sin of x plus h minus sin of x over h, correct? That is what it is. Now, I hope you remember a few trigonometric formulas. It is sin of c minus t. Let me rewrite this formula. If you have sin of c minus sin of d, it could be written as twice sin of c minus t over 2 times cos of c plus t over 2, right? Now that is a formula which is applied to convert difference into product for trigonometric functions, right? So we will apply this formula now and rewrite the ex expression as limit h approaches 0. So think like this. This is c for you and this is d for you. So c minus d is x minus x is 0, h, right? c minus d is h. Divide by 2 means h by 2. So we get 2 times, 2 times, sine of h by 2. Okay? That is how we get c minus d by 2. Times cos of, when you add them, you get 2x plus h. So you get 2x divided by 2 is just x, right, plus h by 2. Okay? So that is how you get. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to do here is that when I do x plus h minus x over 2, right, what I get is h by 2. And when I get x plus h plus x by 2, I get 2x plus h by 2, which is x plus h by 2. Correct? Okay? So that's what we wrote here. Perfect over h. Now this 2 could be brought here, so we get limit h approaches 0. We have sine h by 2, right, over h by 2. Do you see that? And I'm writing this as cos x plus h by 2. Does it make sense to you? Now this limit is is 1, correct? So we could write this as limit h approaches 0 for sine h by 2 over h by 2, right? This is 1 times limit h approaches 0 for cos x plus h by 2. Perfect. Now this is 1, so it is 1 times limit which is cos of cos of x which is cos x, correct? So if I substitute h as 0, I get cos of x. So we get the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear, not much difficulty in doing so, correct? So that is how you can now write that the derivative for sine x is cosine x, correct? Now in the next video, we'll take derivative of cos x, which should be minus sine x. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to share my videos, write comments, and um, if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.